Good morning. Thank you so much for watching. I am going to make this intro super brief. I have been wanting to do this video for quite some time, but I've just kind of been pushing it off and I finally have a reason to do it. If you guys don't already know this, January 5th, 2019 was the first ever National Keto Day and that is the diet I follow. I don't like using the word diet, it's a lifestyle, but that is the way that I eat. So to commemorate and honor the first National Keto Day, even though it was a couple weeks ago, I wanted to take you guys on a run through of my day and what I eat throughout the day for my diet, not diet, lifestyle. In case you couldn't have already guessed it, I'm actually about to go to the gym and before I go to the gym, I like to make myself some hot lemon water. Lemon water is really good for the keto diet. It's actually, lemon water is just a natural antioxidant. It just kind of flushes your system out, but it also jumpstarts your metabolism. So instead of drinking coffee before I go to the gym, I wait until afterwards because first off, coffee dehydrates you and that is the last thing that you need before you're about to work out. But secondly, I don't know what my second point was. Ah, well. Something else that I will drink before I work out is a pre-workout drink. Um, I am specifically using this for my pre-workout. Uh, this is technically, has nothing to do with keto, but today, if it's going in my body, I'm gonna tell you all about it. But anyway, what is this? Um, Nitroflex, Hypermia and Testosterone Enhancing Powder. Cause I'm secretly a man. Just kidding, not a man, swear to God. Uh, but anyway, like this is gonna help me get through a nice, uh, intense weightlifting session. So, um, pre-workout, hot lemon water, good to go. I'm stuck in traffic right now trying to get to the gym. I bet you there is an accident up ahead because some idiot doesn't know how to drive in the rain. I just want to use this as an opportunity to kind of uh, talk a little bit more about what the keto diet is, if you don't already know what that is. The keto diet or ketogenic diet, if you want to be official, is a high fat, moderate protein, low carb diet. Basically, your calorie intake should be made up of 75% fat, 20% protein, and 5% carbs, and that's it. Bread is out of the picture. Pretty much anything in a typical American diet, out of the picture. There's a good way to follow it and a bad way to follow it. One thing that is super important when following the keto diet is to keep track of your macros or your macronutrients throughout the day, and those are uh, what I just listed. Your macronutrients are uh, the main, hey, stop shaking. Your macronutrients are the main sources of where your calories come from. So fat, protein, carbs. Everyone has a different macronutrient plan to follow. It is all based dependent on what your fitness goals are, what your health goals are, whether you're doing it to maintain your weight, lose weight, gain muscle. A while back, I personally calculated my macronutrients and throughout the day, my goals are to eat 150 grams of fat, 105 grams of protein, and only 20 grams of carbs. And when I say carbs, I'm talking net carbs, not carbs, carbs. Net carbs are your total carb intake minus your fiber intake, and that results in your net carbs. Okay, so in my pre-workout uh, drink that I had, it was it's made up of zero grams of fat, carbs, and one gram of protein. So I have 104 grams of protein left to eat throughout the day in order to hit my macro goal. Macros goal. Macro or macros? Do you pluralize it? So that's basically like a really super quick bullet point run through of what the keto diet is and how you follow it. I just wanted to tell you guys beforehand so that way you have a basic understanding of why I'm going to be eating the way that I'm eating throughout the rest of the day. And my exit is coming up, so I'm gonna get back to driving. 
I just finished my workout and I also just realized that in order for me to show you guys what I eat today, I have to go grocery shopping. worse than Target because I always end up spending more than I want to. I kept buying stuff that I don't need, but I was like, oh, I'm here, I might as well grab it. And I did. And part of it is also because I'm so freaking hungry, which is like cardinal rule of do not go grocery shopping when you're hungry. Just one of those lesson learned experiences, I guess. Although I always forget this lesson. This happens a lot. I go grocery shopping when I'm hungry a lot. Okay. First things first. I need to get all of this put away and then I can cook some breakfast, brunch, lunch. I don't even know at this point anymore, but I can at least show you guys what I eat, especially when it comes to a post-workout keto-friendly meal. Because not only do I need enough fat, I need enough protein to repair all the muscle damage that I just did with my lifting session and nourish my body with the right ingredients. That was pretty quick and easy. Sweet. Coffee. I haven't had coffee all day. Bulletproof coffee is a huge staple in my keto diet. It helps me reach my fat uh, macros for the day. So I'm gonna get that going and then I'm gonna bring you guys in closer and you can kind of see what I'm gonna whip up for my meal. I love keto. <laughs>
time to kill while my um, avocados are in the oven because I didn't time this out correctly. While that's happening, I'm going to drink my coffee. and do a little bit of uh, dishes and cleanup. So by the time that there's like maybe 10 minutes left in uh, on the timer, in the timer, huh, I can finish making my last thing, which are some uh, basically keto crepes, and then I'll be all set. I will definitely finish this coffee before the timer's up. Um, so this is my, my amuse bouche to my breakfast or appetizer. A moosh boosh sounds better. actually because these pancakes don't take very long at actually they, they hardly take any time at all to make because they end up being so thin so I've got like five minutes left on my just kidding I have seven minutes left on my timer so I can knock this out and I can finally eat quite a bit of time to make but it's only gonna take me like 30 seconds to eat I'm that freaking hungry right now so I'm going to spare you guys from watching me scarf this down and then afterwards I will get into uh, kind of what I was talking about earlier in the car in terms of macronutrients and and then you guys can wait until I eat my dinner tonight bon appetit to me That was so worth the wait. I feel so much better now. While I was eating, I went over my macros for everything I just ate. This meal was basically 74% fat, 18% protein, and 8% carbs. That's not an accurate percentage of the carbs, and I'll get into that in just a little bit. But essentially, I hit uh, exactly where I wanted to be with this meal alone. So I'm off to a good start for today. So there were three things mainly that I consumed. I had Bulletproof coffee, I had my stuffed avocados, and then I had my cream cheese crepes. Bulletproof coffee is a great uh, staple in a keto diet. It's not necessary, but I personally love it. It's smooth, it's creamy, it's got a nice like texture and flavor to it, and you're not adding a ton of sugar or cream or crap to it. My Bulletproof coffee uh, was, I'm looking at my paper, I have it all written down right here. So my Bulletproof coffee, zero carbs because there's no coffee in carbs. There, <laughs> There's no carbs in coffee, there's no carbs in butter, and then I added uh, brain octane oil, which is basically a form of coconut oil, zero carbs as well. 25.8 grams of fat and zero grams of protein as well. So that's why um, I love Bulletproof Coffee because it really helps me hit my fat macros for the day. Next, uh, we had my stuffed avocado. Just one avocado, it has 12 grams of carbs, 21 grams of fat and 2.9 grams of protein. But we're counting net carbs when you do keto. So there's 10 grams of fiber, which means there's only 
two grams of net carbs, so that's why I count. And that is also why avocados are so great in a keto diet because it's super high in fat, very low in carb, high in fiber, so you're getting a lot of nutrition out of it. And it's also extremely filling. My crepes. You typically wanna avoid fruit in general because they're so high in sugar, but berries are so low in carbs that that's one of those like rare exceptions that you can have. I had like four different berries. Each of them had like maybe a gram of carbs per serving that I had. So we're just gonna count four grams right there, less than a gram of fat and protein. I'm gonna stop throwing numbers at you, but the main point is, is I stayed within my target range and I was probably maybe about like 4% carbs even. So those numbers are a little, little bit skewed because um, I use my fitness pal to track my macros. It doesn't track net carbs, it just tracks overall carbs. That's where that number comes from. Now that I know exactly where I'm at, I can proportion my dinner the way that I need to. So. Until Alyssa's next cooking adventure that's gonna take place in like four hours, I'll see you soon. Okay, so it's getting to be about that time where I need to eat my dinner. I'm still pretty full from my breakfast, partly because it was so filling. Um, that's one benefit of the keto diet is uh, there, it's so much fat that it keeps you full throughout the day, but also because I ate so late that um, you know, I'm still kind of not hungry, but I do need to eat. I still need to hit those macros. I'm going to make a super simple dinner right now, just some pan-seared salmon, oven roasted broccoli, and a little side salad, and that's it. And I'm off to it. This looks like a lot. <laughs> um, that's a lot of fish. That's a lot of veggies. I hope I can eat it all. This is like such a great, easy, quick dinner. It took 10 minutes. Super nutritious, great source of protein, great source of uh, fat. Yeah, I'm excited. But first I have to do some, obviously, Instagram worthy pictures of it because you guys saw this. This thing is gorgeous. Wow, that was amazing. Not to toot my own horn, but that was amazing. <laughs> hardly any meal prep, hardly any effort cooking. 
and it tasted so good. But what's crazy is, you know, of course I calculated up my macros for the whole meal. That entire plate, and you guys saw, like that plate was stacked. That whole thing had only 3.6 net grams of carbs, which is insane. This put me right, just, just a smidge past my macros for my fat and my protein but I stayed under for my net carbs. My goal was to stay under or around 20, and for this meal and then my breakfast that I had earlier, brunch, lunch that I had earlier, that put me at 15 grams of net carbs altogether. And I am so freaking full right now. That is what I eat in one day of being keto. Now, today is a Saturday. Saturdays and Sundays are a little bit of an exception because I have the ability to be home and cook full dinners and full breakfasts. Breakfasts? Breakfasts? I don't, breakfasts. Breakfasts, that's the word that I'm looking for. Weekdays are totally different because I'm out of the house for like 14 to 16 hours a day. And I'm pretty limited to what I will and will not eat uh, for my lunches at work, especially because I don't use a microwave. I don't believe in using microwaves. Uh, I haven't used a microwave in, in like eight years. I have had a lot of my friends like try to talk me into out of my crazy thoughts and telling me like microwaves are fine, like there's nothing wrong with them. Regardless, I still don't like using a microwave. That's just not how I believe in heating my food, uh, cooking my food. That's just not my thing. Anyway, so that is what my day on keto looks like. And, and you only saw me eat two meals. When I eat, I like to eat. I don't like doing small courses throughout the day, snacking here and there. That way I don't have any temptations with snacking because when I snack, I like to overindulge uh, more than I should. Let me know if you guys like this video. I would absolutely love to do more like these. This is something uh, that I'm really passionate about. I love the keto lifestyle. I've had no drawbacks from it whatsoever so far. And also because I've been doing keto since like June, July of last year. So I've been doing this for like six, seven months. I've kind of figured out what to do, what not to do, and I've learned from my mistakes. So I would love to be able to help you guys out if you have any questions, concerns, need some tips and tricks, recipes. This is my not bread and butter. I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. I'm so sorry, but I'm really not. That was hilarious. That was freaking hilarious. I hope you guys laughed. But yeah, I really do hope that you guys like this video because I really would love to continue doing more like this. This was just such a quick intro to it that um, I would love to expand on that. So if you have any questions about anything, whether it's something that you saw in this video, something that um, you're curious about in terms of the keto diet in general, anything related to that, uh, I would love to answer those for you. That about wraps it up. So um, I'm going to go pass out into a food coma right now. You guys enjoy the rest of your day, your night, whatever it is you're doing right now, sitting on the toilet. I don't know, I don't judge. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care guys.